What is up guys? Welcome to day number three of this 10 days yoga challenge. Today I wanted to make this intro a little bit more personal because today is Thanksgiving. And even though this is not a holiday that I used to celebrate on my country in Venezuela, this is a big thing here in America and for good reason. Because even though I don't think we need to have one specific day to be grateful, I think we need to be grateful every single day. I think it's a good reminder to humans to come back to Earth and to express gratitude for all the things that we have and for all the things that we are and all the people that, that, that surround us and that loves us. So for today's practice I had something planned before but since I'm recording this on Thanksgiving I'm just going to go for a free flow. I'm just going to do whatever comes to my mind, whatever, whatever feels right in my body and the intention for today is going to be gratitude. So I'm going to stop on certain poses for a long period of time where we can close our eyes and express gratitude for all the things that we have in our life right now. Finally, before I leave and before we start the practice, I just want to say thank you. Thank you all for the support. Thank you all for joining this challenge with me. Uh, the support has been completely surreal. Like, I, I didn't expect too many people to watch it. I didn't expect too many people to do the challenge with me. I didn't expect too many people to text me, email me, and tag me on their post with the TV, like, doing the challenge with me. So, I'm really... <laughs> I don't think grateful is even a big enough word for me to express how thankful and how, how much gratitude I feel right now for all of you guys. I think words, sometimes they stay short to express what we are really feeling, feeling and what we're really experiencing. We just do our best with that conceptual, conceptual, conceptualization of words to express what we feel and we use the word thankful and grateful but I feel more than that today and I just want to thank you guys so so much for joining this with me and I think that's it the intention for today is gratitude so please keep that in mind and I'll see you in your mat alright guys so let's begin this time standing up on the top of your mat and bring your hands to your heart center. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to your breathing. Activate your Uyai breath. Small contraction on the back of the throat. When you inhale and when you exhale. Inhale, rise your hands up, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, find your hands, step or flow to the back of your mat. Lower down, Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. You can bend one knee at a time, if your heels doesn't quite yet get to the floor, press firmly into your hands, look in between your knees and find stillness in the pose. I know downward facing dog is like a really tough position at the beginning but I promise you that it will become your resting pose. Bring your feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Rise up, inhale, look up your thumbs, and exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale for Ukatasana or chair pose, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant your hands, float or step to the back of your mat. Lowering down Chaturanga, inhaling for upward facing and exhaling downward facing. We're gonna go for warrior one with the left foot in the middle of the hands, 
and right foot at 45 degree. Inhale and raise your hands up, look at your thumbs and hold. Keep your gaze in one point, transfer to warrior two, opening your arms, opening those hips, you want to send the knee to the outside of the mat. Reverse the warrior by grabbing your right leg with your right hand, opening up the left side body. Bring your left forearm to your knee and bring your right hand over. Look at your thumb. Inhale back for warrior two. Helicopter those hands, exhaling, lowering down to chaturanga, inhaling upward facing and exhaling downward facing. Take a moment here. We're going to the other side, so right foot in the middle of your hands, left foot is 45 degrees, inhale, warrior one. Transfer now to warrior two, open your hands and look at your right thumb. Keep your gaze on one point. Reverse the warrior by grabbing your left foot and opening with your right hand across your body. Twist it over to putting your forearm on your knees and your left arm across. You can also release your right hand on the floor if you feel more flexible. Go back to warrior two, helicopter the hands, lowering down chaturanga, inhaling upward facing, and let's go to child's pose. This is the first time of the practice where I'm going to give you a chance to be grateful. Just think of one thing. Don't overthink too many things. Hold a particular thing in your mind and in your heart and feel how lucky you are to have that in your life. Come back to plank pose, move through your vinyasa, we meet in downward facing dog. Take a moment here, bend your knees, inhale, a step or flow to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Rise all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, chair pose, Ukatasana. You are going to exhale, bringing your right elbow to your left knee, twisting over your left. If you are feeling comfortable, you can open your hands, looking at your left thumb, twisting from your spine. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left elbow to your right knee, looking up to the opposite shoulder. Open your hands if you did on the other side, or you can just stay with hands in prayer. Inhale, back to center, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, plant your hands, step or float to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to reset your breathing, to calm your mind, and to get ready to finish your practice. Go into your knees. We're going to do a gentle stretch on the left arm shoulder first. Wrap your left shoulder with your right hand and press it back with the back of your head, opening up the shoulder and the chest. Other side, bring your right arm behind your head, grab your right elbow with your left hand and press with the back of your head. Release. Wrap both hands behind your back, sending your shoulders down and back 
opening your chest as much as possible. Maybe close your eyes and feel your heart opening up. Release. Bring your hands to your heart center and close your eyes one more time. This is the second chance of the practice that I'm giving you to think about another thing that you are grateful for. And if nothing comes to your mind, trust me, if you look deeper, you'll find thousands and thousands of things. Think about someone in your life that just by looking into their eyes, you feel safe. Maybe it's your mom, your dad, your partner, a friend. Open your eyes. Sit down and bring your left leg elongated in front of you and your right foot towards your left thigh, making a 45 degree angle. Whenever you're ready, you can fall forward. Remember, you don't need to grab your foot, you don't even need to be close to what I'm doing right now. Just fall to a place where it feels right for you. Keep your attention on your breathing. And keep that person that you thought about it in your mind and in your heart for the rest of the practice. Inhale, lift your chest, switch sides, bring your left foot towards your right thigh, inhale, lift your chest and exhale, fold. Find a stillness in the pose, find stillness in your mind. If we take the time to look inward into our mind and see what's happening there, which the yoga practice is a method that, that's going to teach you that, it's going to show you things in your mind that you probably didn't know they were there. But if you pay close attention, you'll see that most of the thoughts that we have are irrelevant or unnecessary. Bring your left knee towards your chest. Inhale, raising your right hand up and exhale, twisting towards your left, looking at your left shoulder. On every inhale, I want you to lift your chest a little more. And on every exhale, I want you to twist a little deeper. Go back to center and bring your right knee towards your chest. Inhale with your left arm. Bring it over your knee and exhale, twist. Looking at your right shoulder. Once again, make every inhale lifting higher and every exhale twisting deeper. Inhale, back to center. Bring both feet together and forward in front of you. Inhale, lift your chest and then forward fall. Open your hands to receive. This is a sign of surrendering and to openness to whatever it is that the universe wants for you in this precise moment. So whatever is crossing your mind, whatever emotions are you feeling right now, let them be and witness them instead of judging them. Inhale, lift your chest and get ready for Shavasana. Bringing both feet to the corner of your mat and relaxing here. This is your third time of your practice to be grateful for something.
and once again you can stay on this pose for as long as you like happy thanksgiving to you all thank you guys so so much for the support one more time thank you for joining this journey with me and letting me share my practice with all of you i love you all and i'll see you tomorrow for day number four namaste